Hi, today I want to tell you a little bit about an iconic 70 Geiger counter, which is probably most famous for being used during the Chernobyl accident cleanup, the DP-5V. It's made from a very strong military grade plastic and the entire unit measures 19 by 17 by 8 centimeters and that's including the carrying case and the total weight of the unit is around 2.6 kilograms. Unlike his older brothers, the DP5A and DP5B, this Geiger counter doesn't require the user to set the correct voltage manually before use. This means it is simpler and quicker to operate. To power on the unit, we simply need to turn the selector switch to the right. This will allow us to conduct a battery test. The next position is the 200 Röntgen scale. This mode uses the bottom scale and not the top one. The next position is times 1000. This time we use the upper scale and we multiply the reading by 1000. Also it is worth mentioning that this time we are in milliroentgens and not in röntgens. The same math applies for every next position with only the multiplication factor changing. The rotary switch is very hard to move and sometimes I actually feel like I could break it just from switching the unit on. The scale on this unit as well as the area around the selector switch is covered in luminescent paint. However, it is not radioactive like in DP63A. Unfortunately, since these units are pretty old, the glow doesn't last for very long. One very annoying thing about this meter is the fact that it runs on obsolete Soviet batteries. Luckily, it is fairly easy to make adapters for AA batteries using cardboard and some aluminum foil. The unit runs on two batteries, while the third one is used to power on the light bulbs. Another negative thing about this meter is it's a very small display, which measures only 5 by 3 centimeters. The display also seems to be placed pretty deeply, which makes the viewing angle very narrow. There is a headphone out, but it uses a weird absolute connector, which means you can only connect the original headset to it. Sadly, mine did not come with a headset, so I decided to make my own speaker using two screws, a buzzer with a generator, and some polymorph plastic. On the bright side, the needle moves smoothly and doesn't jump around like a universal radiation meter model 1700. The DP5V has two Geiger Miller tubes, an STS5 for the lower range and SI3BG for the higher. Beta window has an area of around 3 square centimeters, which allows for more particles to hit the Geiger Miller tube, making the unit more sensitive. Originally, these units came with a B8 strontium 90 check source, however, mine had this removed. Wrapping things up, the B5V is a solid Geiger counter and it's a great choice if you're just starting out or you're looking for something with more Cold War vibe. I hope you found the video entertaining. If yes, please consider giving it a like and subscribing to my channel. I have also started my own website. You can find a link to it down in the description. And remember, stay active.